So what are the complaints that we hear from riders? Frequently, elevators and escalators are broken. I don't feel safe, and too often that trains and stations are dirty. So this is part of the MTA putting boots on the ground to prove we're here to serve you. The goal, faster, cleaner, safer. For the first time in decades, agents are going to again be working amongst riders on the move, out of boots, across every station in the city. More trained eyes to report anything from malfunctioning elevators, turnstiles, and ticket machines to just helping people with directions. And with more visible staff on the platforms and in stations, the added sense of safety. It's the MTA focusing on customer service. They've started converting the old agent booths to customer service centers. Six have opened across the city today three new service centers opening inside stations we'll see the opening of those centers in manhattan at fulton center queens at roosevelt avenue jackson heights 74th street and brooklyn at the myrtle wyckoff avenue stations bringing the total to 15 within the year these service centers also meant to help riders apply for reduced rate cards known as the fair fares program as well as getting more of us up and running with the omni tap and go program as metro cards get phased out they're surprised to see me out there to begin with. They're like, oh my God, you guys are out here now? Okay, and um, you know, just they're happy that they don't have to walk all the way to the booth to actually get to me. I can interact with the customers more. I'm more helpful to them. Um, they're not frustrated and I'm not frustrated for not being able to get out to them and show them what it is that they need to know. If they need to report an issue, they'll have the ability to do that. Um, you know, we want to make this a safe environment. Obviously having the police in the stations as well is important. Agents will be easily found in those MTA yellow vests. They've been trained and outfitted with phones as well to directly report everything from broken escalators to dirty conditions that need to be fixed. And, of course, any safety issues. Coney Island has had that customer service center for two months. They get a lot of cues about directions and recommendations for things to do. Back to you, Dan and Hazel. <laughs> what can I do on Coney Island? Well, you can go to the Wonder Wheel. Yeah. You can ride the roller right. coaster. You can get yourself a dog. Come on.